Hello YouTube, okay, so I'm making this video on a request of people that are having troubles with the Black Ops 2 getting it modded online. In this video I'm doing about how to copy the eBoot file. If you guys don't know what the eBoot file is, it's um, when you play the game for the first time, putting it into the PS3, it's that installation file that could be like so many gigabytes or megabytes big, okay? That's what that eBoot is. It's the game version. So like Black Ops 2, it's 1.19. When you download an eBoot, you got to find the corresponding eBoot file to that. So right now I'm going to show you that in order for this to work, you need to have a program called WinSCP. I will have download links in my video just look in my description and I will have the links to you need to find the eBoot file it'll have an anti-ban file there too because you'll need that otherwise it'll get banned instantly off online so then WinSCP is an FTP server and then I got my PS3 up here on right now multi-man is what you're gonna need and then that is what you're gonna do to FTP into their PS3 sorry if this video is a little shaky I'm using my camera currently at the moment so it's a bitch to do recording software on the computer right now at the moment, so fuck it. Let's go. Alright, so since I already have WinSCP downloaded, it is right here. I'm going to zoom into this bad boy here, alright? And there it is. Okay, that was an old IP address, so just whatever. My PS3 is currently, you know, away from internet. It's stupid shit now. But this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, it's not going to connect because that's not the right IP. But what you're supposed to do is obviously you go to your settings on the PS3. Like, you know how to do that. You go to your fucking network settings and you go to settings and connection list. You're gonna take whatever your IP address is, so right there, it ends with point eleven, okay? Now what you're gonna do is for the meantime, just load up multi man. You're gonna want multi man open for this to work. Oh, also this. Once you have multi-man on here, I'll get it going for you. And once this bad boy loads up, you're gonna okay. Since I was on it last, you're gonna look in the settings area. There's the multi-man, and then settings. You're gonna look for FTP service, and you're gonna make sure it's enabled, no timeout. So, okay, that's what you're gonna need for that. And then just from there on. Don't do anything else. From now on, we're going to be on the computer for the moment. And I'll show you how to do this. So since I already have it set up on my computer, I'm just going to open the site that I was using. Focus this bitch. Okay. So I'm just going to go to new site 3. It was just an old one I was using. But you want your host name to say whatever... And I can't hit backspace. What the hell? Okay. So we want to do 192.168.1. Or 0. That's 0 in it. No, 1. Okay. So 1.11. You're going to want your IP address there. Port number. Uh, just leave it at 22. You're going to do FTP protocol. And then encryption. Just do no encryption username is gonna be admin and then password is root lowercase all just lowercase root okay then you can just screw you know skip that shit but okay so FTP alright admin root so then you go anonymous login okay I'm gonna save that okay there you go now there's my thing but I can just go here too if I want to. But I can just go log in. Okay. It's going to connect to you to your PS3 now. So now there's my PS3. That is my hard drive. Where's my mouse? That is my hard drive right there, okay? Hard drive, boom. Now from here on, copying the eBoot file over. This is the easy part. This is, this is really simple. So wherever you downloaded your eBoot, this is your computer. So I'm going to go locate where I downloaded that. So since I have it in a folder called Jailbreak Files, I'm going to go on that. Go to PS3 shit, Call of Duty, go to Black Ops 2 mods, and then I have all my mods here. Okay, so I have uh, Anti-Ban right here. Anti-Ban self and eboot file. This is what's going to be in the download link. The self file is an anti-ban um, file which 
is gonna prevent you from getting banned itself, you know, so you don't get that probation message, all that shit too, like, like, oh, you quit the game, or all that stupid shit, it's just random, but everything with wall hack, this is the eboot that you're gonna need, this is for your game, so once you have these files just downloaded on your computer, good, okay, now go to dev hdd0, load that up, you're gonna look for game, then this is where you're gonna find a shit ton of games that's whatever on your system. Now you're gonna find the one that's corresponding. So since my game is Bless three oh five nine one, you probably can't see it, but it's gonna be right on the side of your game right here. See, it's gonna be that. It's a little dark here. You can't tell, but yeah, it'll say Bless three oh five nine one on it. No, no, never mind. That's different. 31011. I'm thinking of the regular Black Ops. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. 31011. So it's right here. You're going to want to click on that. Open it up. This is your game files now. Go to USR DIR. There's the eboot and the self file. Now all you got to do is do this. Simply copy your self file over. It's going to ask would you like to override it once it goes through? It may pop up with that, but it didn't. Since this is already modded, these are modded eboot and cell file. Then you take the eboot file, copy it on, and then you're done. You could simply close that, zoom out here, and then literally on the PS3, you can just go ahead, quit this, and then you can get on your game. Since my account is banned, I am sorry, but I cannot get online to show you but I can do it like a local party and try it that way but that's about it so yeah if you guys are looking for anything like that that is it though I will have the links in my video right in the description so you go ahead and check that out it'll be on my website here on techie tweakers it's just a little kind of personal blog website it doesn't have a lot on there but this is a uh, mod menus this is for the GSC studio if you guys are heard of that or common with it and use it but there's that and then it's just download link it'll take you to the RAR file let you download it and then I have that that'll just be all the menus if you guys are unsure about that comment in this video and tell me to make a video on how to install the mods into the game I'll do that and then use the GSC studio and show you guys how to do that then but that is it I thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to me and I'll keep making more videos if you guys are stuck on anything or you know questioning this so really simple but I thank you guys for checking it out and then see you later boom